M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning how to use the new Yesu FT5DR. FXB, full review of the Yesu FT5D C4FM radio with APRS, GPS, GPS, Bluetooth, dual band radio, VHF, UHF, simultaneous receive in FM analog on the A and the B band. So it's a nice bright color, uh, color screen. You can change the color of the frequency by holding down F menu, display, and you have the option to change the display color, red, blue, or white. And we've got it on red at the moment. They've added a one watt speaker as opposed to the 750 milliwatt speaker that is in the FT3. Now, it, to me, the screen looks exactly the same as the screen on the FT3. Um, so I can't, unless they describe a difference, I, I don't, I can't see a difference. It has GPS, very fast lock on this, just F menu there, DISP, tap, and there's your lock. And it is very fast, so no problem with that. The menu structure buttons have changed. You've now got these illuminated um, raised buttons you have the PTT is like an orange style the whole casing is a smoother style that they've gone for but I would say less rugged than the um, FT3 apart from the rubber sort of corners they've added here which actually are quite quite nice I think they will protect the the base of the radio quite well the volume and channel change button seems fine now the middle gps sort of logo isn't as raised as the ft3d and they've added uh well they changed the shape of it so that the holster there's a holster that comes with this included in a box that will clip over and it won't clip over onto the ft3d there's a speaker thing speaker microphone here for the ss m17 works fine sd card here and uh, dc input it won't charge using the data cable the data cable as far as i can see is 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 for firmware uh, that's in the, that's the cable that's in the box but you can use an sc19 or 39 cable for um, programming via your PC, but the easiest way is probably to use the SD card and use the free the free software, or the cheapest way, the free software from Yesu. So it's a C4FM, I've tested it, works very well on YSX. They doubled up the button here uh, to be a, a YSX and a group mode button. Let's just turn some out. So it's a nice loud speaker. You're not going to be complaining about the, the speaker at all on this. Change the mode. You just tap here. They've come up with this neat feature where you go, if you're in VFO mode, like, no, if you're in memory mode like we are now, and because you can't use the scope at the moment, so what you do, you go F, try and select scope. It's not working. But if you go M to V, so now VFO mode, now go F, then scope, then look. You've got straight into the scope there, which is pretty good. They've got the quick cam feature, so hold down the PMG button here. And look, you've got these, and it's you're entering the frequency on the display straight into that feature. And I think you can enter up to five. Uh, there's more features to it, but that's the, the, just the quick way of looking at it. You can go single mode or dual receive. <clears throat> you do have to remember that to dual receive, you need to go into hold down F menu, go to TXRX, go to audio and go to mute. And remember to turn that off because if it's on, it will mute one half and you won't get that full dual receive that which it's capable of. Now in digital mode, it won't receive do full dual receive audio. Um, you it will it will receive the data and the call signs. But you'll only hear one at a time. But FM analog, it will receive two at a time. APRS is excellent. Very extensive menu in APRS there. Big long menu on that. So it's very good on that. 
and APRS messaging, um, SD card. So I, th I think that pretty much covers it. So the battery will uh, is the same as the battery on the FT3, FT2. It will fit in the cradle, the charging cradle uh, of the FT2 and 3. So that's all good news. We've got this extra lip here where the antenna goes. Just here. But there's a bit of room there on the left for a bigger antenna. But on the right, they haven't really left much room. So that's about it. You've got the TX00 and RX00 up here. That's for um, oh, DGID. Basically, you can change these numbers and so can someone else at the other end. And then you get, you know, you can get more privacy. We've done the direction finding thing with the DISP. Tap that and so you've got this call sign coming in. You can see the distance there. You can store that. Hit memory and then hold that. You've stored his location. And I suppose in theory you can head towards him. I haven't really done it, so I'm not good at this. But and you can store more than one. So it's stored the same one in number two. So you know, look into that a bit more, I think. But SD card. You've got a sub menu, just pushing the F just once. You've got these nice torch, uh, usual code, cam features here, scope. Yes, yeah, all your APRS, you know, storage and memory list and beacon TX when you're in that mode. When you um, APRS TX, if you want it in auto, you have a little circle. And when the t when they turn on the modem of APRS, hold down FM, F menu, APRS. And go to modem number four that turns on the modem and you need to get your call sign in there as well of course your aprs call sign very important lots of other settings but that's it and the gps power that's important turn on your gps there's your call sign aprs call sign get your aprs call sign in there as well so you show up on aprs fi so like I said, you've got sub menu, sub menu is the F menu, quick press, and you can go forward and back for more choices. You've got your um, broadcast radio is F, then just select A dual, and you get a, a, the broadcast radio will appear at the top there. What else we got here? Dual, dual receive, that's the quick dual receive. Records audio, TX power here. Low is 0 0.1, I think. Two is one watt. Three is 2.5 watt. High is five watt. So there's an overview. I think it's a good radio. I think it's a good upgrade. It's not desperate to change from your FT3D, if you ask me. But it's still, you know, you are getting a radio that where they've sort of fixed the things, the things that people moaned about. And there's going to be some bugs in this for firmware. Um, for definite, but they'll line it all out as they do. So I think it's a good radio. It's going to be around for I my guess for a few years. Um, and so we well, yeah, hope this helps. Seven three. Please subscribe and like my channel. All the best.